Crash Course in Parallel and Perpendicular Lines, Part 3. Believe it or not, this is my 501st <clears throat> video. That's crazy. Wow, 501st. Boy, hmm, it's a lot of work. Kind of crazy. Anyway, so let's do this. We're going to have an equation in standard form. Like, say, for example, I, I don't know, let's say, um, let's say x plus 2y is equal to 6 okay and we need a line that's parallel to that and let's say that the line that's parallel to parallel to that passes through negative 4 um, 7 right so just like always you need your slope and a point your job is to take the clue and figure out what is the slope usually you can figure out the point it'll just tell you you don't have to do a whole lot of work it's just right there so you can just right so this is what we're gonna do we need the slope we need the slope from this thing um, right here so there's a shortcut this is standard form ax plus by is equal to C the slope the slope is gonna be negative a over B that's what it's gonna be it's not a people a lot of times are tempted to say it's just a because well in slope intercept form the coefficient of x is the slope but this is not slope intercept form so <clears throat> it's negative a over b the reason why is if you solve for y <clears throat> you would subtract this first which make a negative and then you divide by b coefficient is going to be that so anyway here a is one and b is two so that would be a slope of negative one half right that's our slope right there so let's plug everything in so we've got seven equals negative one half times x x is negative four plus b all right plugged it in now we're going to simplify it right that's two negative times a negative is positive all right five plus two is seven so b is going to be five or you could do the work I, I prefer to just read it but either way there's our y-intercept so y equals negative one half x plus five there we go now perpendicular I think by now you probably got the idea, right? The hard part is trying to figure out what is the slope. So we've got this thing right here. We already talked about how to do that. So how about how about we do another one? What if I gave you like um, 3x uh, minus, you know, how about how about we do 8x minus 4y is equal to 10? And so let's say we need a perpendicular line that goes that is perpendicular to this and passes through the point. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, how about how about six one? All right. So now, negative a over b is our slope, right? I know x is six. I know y is one. A here is eight. That's a, and negative four is b. So negative eight divided by negative four. Well, that's two, right? So we need the perpendicular to that. So our slope is going to be negative one half. So start with your formula, right? Plug everything in, 1, negative 1 half, again, that's funny, um, x is 6 plus b. It's kind of funny, it turned out to be negative 1 half, but anyway, reduce, right, negative times positive, negative, so this is going to be 4, because 4 plus negative 3 is 1, you can do the work if you want, 4 equals equal to b, so y equals negative 1 half x plus you ever know how notice how a smiley face looks kind of friendly until you give it eyebrows and it looks like it's up to no good 